Jamie Culver, I live in Port Stephens, New South Wales. It's a unique part of the continental shelf where the EAC races down and breaks away and it, the, the water eddies up and the bait holds up and when that happens and in summer the, um, the marlin aren't far behind. So for me I've gone with the Simrad Evo 316. Um, I do like having two screens but the 116 really fits out that dash on the stabie really well and because it is so big you can run the split and you really don't have to have the compromise. I've gone with the TM275 transducer and that's a really great mix for um, fishing both inshore and off shore sports fishing and I've paired it with the S5100 sonar module which I think is a real must these days for game fishermen and it just really allows you to have control of your water column so you know you can uh, you can fish a low and a high chirp and if you didn't have the S51 if you changed your range you would obviously lose that on both so this allows you to say for instance at the car park um, run a low chirp and keep your eye on the bigger picture of what's happening you know the bait and the fish on it and then when you move towards um, the high chirp you can change the range and just focus if you're raising a marlin. So if you've got a fish under the boat and that's 60 metres of water, you can clear, see that quite clearly and then um, keep an eye on the bigger picture down low. Safety and confidence has always been a big thing for me, um, hence the Stabie. And that's really what um, some of the Simrad gears offered me as well. So the, um, the radar's fantastic. I think we all have a story of a close call or uh, like me hitting a certain marker boys at night coming out of the estuary. And I think it just gives you those extra set of eyes. Um, so for safety it's a big thing, but also it's, it's really a must when you're fishing offshore and it's such a big ocean out there. If you can really narrow down, say you find birds working over souries, um, you can find um, you know, other, other boats or, or working in an area, you can really hone in on the fishing and if you can cut down on fuel, time um, and, and get you a better fishing result, then it's just a must have. Yeah, marlin, they get you going. I mean, you're sitting there on the back of the deck and it's 95% sometimes, um, you know, really quiet and, and time ticking away and then it's 5% mayhem. And you know, I always thought a blue marlin be blue, but when they come in red hot, they're just dark black and they're just all, you know, they're really angry and they just hit these lures and, and you can't even get words out of your mouth before all of a sudden this fish is overtaking your boat and it's just chaos and I don't know, it's just something about that that just, when it's on, it's just, um, just unreal. Thank you.